the Echo Slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Hello, Gamer Nom is back. So for today's video, guys, I've been reading your comments. So here you are, level one noob that will reach second C using only sword. So are you ready, guys? Don't worry. For our video, next video, we are going to do the light fruit, okay? Level one, noob light fruit. But first, let's focus on this one. So we're gonna reach second C using only sword. So first up, again, we're gonna look for three chickens. There you go, that's the quest that we're gonna do. Again, if you want to make this faster, do server hop. You just saw the three locations, the terrace, the spawn point, and the building in the black market. So you're gonna do this until you reach level 12. Guys, again, level 12, but before that, 5k is the requirement to buy your first sword, the katana. There you go. You already have this one sword skill, sword style song, okay? So again guys, I suggest you do the chicken quest until you reach level 11 or 12. Why level 12 gamer now? You can do it at level 10. Because you can one hit the clown pirates. Okay, as we all know, when you reach level 10, we will be fighting the clown pirates. You will be asked to leave it 7. So here, as you can see, we're level 12, luring enemies and using your first skill. Boom, they're all dead. So you're gonna do that until you reach level 13. Why 13 gamer knob? Because 13 you will already unlock the wind walk. Okay, so now we've already unlocked all the skills of the katana. So how to maximize this? Just do this. Wind walk. One sword style song. There you go. And another wind walk. And that's it. Okay? So when you reach level 20, go to Smokey. Guys, at the start, this is gonna be harder, okay? But when you reach level 200, something like that, 230, 240, everything will be faster. I promise you, okay? So, Gamer Nom, is it hard? Not that hard, to, to, to be honest, okay? So, when you reach level 30, go to Tashi. Guys, we can unlock a sword here. The Tashi Blade, right? Okay, so use your X skill, first skill, X skill, first skill. Simultaneously, and there you go. We have the Tashi Blade, but Gamer Nom, do you suggest using this? Guys, I don't suggest using the Tashi Blade. Why Gamer Nom? Because one of the skills of the Tashi Blade, the spinner, requires you to get near your enemy, and we don't want that. Instead of putting your stats on defense, I want to put it on sword at the early stages of this leveling up phase, okay? Oh, there you go. When you reach level 50, using Katana, Guys, let's just swim, okay? Let's maximize the ability to swim because we are not fruit users. Okay, so at level 50, Cloud Pirates. Guys, this is how you lure it. Use your X skill to lure two. First skill, okay? Now we give if killed two. We need to defeat five, right? Okay, so here you go. First skill. Oh no, sorry. The wind walk and the second skill. What? Oh no. Is this a bug? Okay, again, again, again. Second skill, first skill, go. You can choose to defeat that or just go in this part of the area and use your first skill and X skill. And that's the whole quest, okay? Do that until you reach 75. Now you can defeat the clown. Again, guys, comparing it to the fruit users, fruit users can defeat this by using one skill. But for the sword, you need to be patient. Okay, so when you reach level 100, you can now go to the other map, which is the Soldier Island. And the Soldier Island, don't forget to buy the Soru because it will really help you in your mobility. So, defeat 5 commanders. There you go. First skill, second skill is enough. So, we are gonna do this until you reach level 120. Okay, next up is the Captain. So, single target, a lot easier, but make sure to dodge this skill, okay? Actually, you don't need to dodge because you are doing the damage from a uh, long range. So there you go. Do this until you reach 145. When you reach level 145, you can start defeating the Axe Hand. Okay, the Axe Hand. There you go. Okay. Off to the Axe Hand. There you go. Again, try to create distance because this boss has a very wide range. Not long range, but wide. So you might get caught. And again, we don't uh, usually put stats or focus our stats on the defense in these early stages of the game. 
And yes, we are gonna do this until we reach level 200. Okay, we're now we're gonna skip another quest again. Yes, we're gonna skip the quest because the enemies in that Fishman Island is uh, they're kind of far apart. Again, we want to focus on single target enemies. Okay, so here we are. Oh, sorry, it's Shark Island, not Fish Island or something like that. Okay, there you go. We're gonna defeat this Karate Fishman, single target enemy, until you reach level 230. It's not as fast again as the other fruit users, but again, do you remember? I told you when you reach level 230 or 40, everything will be faster. Why gamer nom? Because this dude will give you the shark blade. And this sword, we're gonna use this until you reach the second C. How? Check this out. First skill, the X skill guys, and defeat all almost all of the enemies in the first C, okay? When you reach level 300, again 300, we're gonna skip one quest. We're gonna go straight to the Dark Leg. There you go. Again, I'm gonna show you guys. Z X skill, damage, wait for it to jump. And Z skill. And you can defeat this boss easily. Okay? So do, this, do that until you reach 350. And when you reach 350, we're gonna start with a weapon map. Again, Gamer Nom, how do you defeat this? This is stronger. X skill and Z. The tornado slash and it is all done so we're gonna do this until you reach 450 why 450 you're gonna skip a quest again yes we're gonna skip a quest in the snow island snow village snow island okay and we're gonna start with the king snow there you go how did you fit this same 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 x skill and z skill is this enough yes it will be enough there you go and do this until you reach level 500. After 500, we're gonna move to the heavy man. And same, same, old, same guys. X skill and Z skill. Did you see that guys? The moment that we reach level 230 or 40, we unlock the shark blade. Everything is easier. Two skills, enough to kill a boss. But before that guys, I forgot to show you. Go to the bubble island. Guys, the moment that you get 500,000 belly, Try to unlock this, or no, 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 unlock this, guys. The armament hockey, press J to use it. Why? Check this out. A normal damage has 1,138, but if you activate the hockey, there you go, your sword will turn black. The damage is 1,517. It will really increase your damage. So, guys, for new players, you can use a code that will give you 650,000 belly. You can unlock it as soon as possible. But I didn't do that because you know, I don't know, I just want I just don't want to use codes, okay? But for you, use it. So when you reach 625 again, we skip the quest. The candleman, we will go straight to the bomb man. There you go. Two skills again, two skills, and we're good. You're gonna do this until you reach 725. Gamer no can I do the candleman? Yes! But guys, this is a guide to make everything faster. I'm telling you, you will finish. The first C faster if you follow this guy. Okay, 725. Defeat the King of Sand. It's kind of harder because, you know, the, the, the skills of this uh, mob is harder to dodge. But just be patient. Because when you finish this, you will be reaching level 800, guys. Level 800, we're going to our next island, which is the Sky Island. Okay, Sky Island, here we go. Okay. Oh, guys, don't forget... If you have 1,000, I uh, 1. 1.2 million, you can unlock the observation hockey in this island. Okay, so there you go. That's how you lure your enemies. Again, one more time. Okay, there you go. X skill, attack, attack, and use your C skill. And that's enough to finish one quest. So when you reach 850, you can now go to the ball man on top. Okay, so you can kill this boss until you reach 1,050. I'm telling you guys, if you focus on this, everything will be faster. But if you reach 900, you can unlock a new quest, which is the Rumble Man. And again, we're gonna stay in this island until we reach level 1100. Just a reminder, you cannot damage this boss if you don't have the armament hockey, the one that we got from the Bubble Island. There you go. So activate it before you defeat this boss. Gamernum, is there a faster way to level up here? Yes, you're gonna defeat the Rumble Man, go to the Ball Man, Rumble Man, Ball Man, again, until you reach level 1,100. 
guys, the moment that you reach level 1,100, uh, 1,050, the experience from this boss will go lower, the ball man. So, I suggest when you reach 1,050, the last remaining 50 levels, focus on the rumble man. Okay? Okay. Okay, there you go. Here you go, I'm just showing after the rumble man defeat the ball man. Go. Check this out, guys. After you finish the, ba the ball man, same time that the rumble man spawn. So everything will be faster. You won't be wasting uh, any second here. There you go. Okay, so again, you're gonna do this until you reach level 1100. Okay, let's wait for it to spawn. There you go. Oops. I just don't forget to dodge sideways, okay? Okay, and after that 1100, let's go to the Bubble Island. We're gonna start the quests here by doing the leader quest. Single target again. So first is skill, I second skill, X is skill. Dodge, let's slash and do the Z skill. Okay, you're gonna do this until you reach level 1150. And after that, we are going to move to the next quest, which is the Pacifista quest. Oh, sorry, it's pasta. Something like that. Oh, am I hungry or... <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, do this until you reach level 1250. And after that, you can now go to the Fire Island, which is the Lobby Island. Here we have three mobs. First up is the Wolf. Easy guys, this is your X skill and Z skill and this is done. Do this until you reach level 1325. So after that, Giraffe. Guys, if you have the pole from the Rumble Man, everything will be faster. Use your X and Z skill. Go to the wolf quest, use your C skill, and that is done. Now move to the wolf and use your Z and X again. Now run to the quest giver of the giraffe quest. There you go, and there you go, guys. That's fast. Okay, you're gonna do this strategy until you reach level 1400. Wait, gamer gnome, you're not gonna use the saber or the Napoleon or the triple katana. No, guys, this is better, I'm telling you. But when you move to the last stage or the last mob, which is the Leo. You're gonna go back to Shark Blade. Again, Gamer Nam, are you sure? Shark Blade is the best sword in C1. Yes, yes. Triple Katana, we have one here. The Mace, Napoleon, Saber, Ashy Blade, etc. The Pole. Guys, this is the best for me. For leveling up, okay? For leveling up. Okay, now... After reaching 1,500, go to the War Island, talk to this dude, he will give you a quest. Get the map, so it is located in the Fish Island, and you're gonna fight this dude. There you go, that one. Guys, notice I'm always using my Observation Aki. There you go, you're gonna fight him until you get the item, the map. I'm the map, I'm the map. Oh, that's a different map. That's from Dora the Explorer. <laughs> okay, now we have the map. Go back to the War Island, we're gonna give it to the Traveler, and now you can go to the Starting Island. Whew! How's that, guys? We were able to finish it. For me, guys, it's easy because the moment that you get the Shark Blade, everything will be fast. Now, off to Second Sea, and... What? Disconnect. Well, anyway, guys, fast forward, here we are in the Second Sea. Shout out to you, Pirate. So again, guys, next video, I think it's Light Fruit. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. Again, I hope that you learned something from this. This is GamerNom, and GamerNom out.